Is the takeover of Sydney Airport one step closer? Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee, we're going to have a look at an article from Yahoo Finance discussing, well, the Sydney Airport takeover. It looks like it's a step closer. Sydney Airport opens the books after a new offer. Now, this is interesting. Remember, Sydney Airport, well, the share price wasn't doing so well with regards to the all global shutdown. But, I mean, it's all going to come good eventually. At least that seems to be the, the, where the market is going. You know, people are anticipating a return to normal life and maybe now's the chance to you know, get a bargain. So Sydney Airport Corporation is closer to a decision on a takeover offer after letting an investment group examine its books after it raised its bid. A group of superannuation companies has made a third bid for the airport of $8.75 per staple security, $23.6 billion up from a previous bid of $8.45 per security. Sydney Airport said it would allow the consortium to conduct due diligence on its financials in order to make a binding offer. The due diligence is expected to take about four weeks. The airport board said it intends to unanimously recommend security holders vote for the proposal should a binding offer be made. The corporation will hire a third-party expert to help assess the merits of the bid. The Sydney Aviation Alliance Consortium, which includes IFM investors, Queensland Superfund Q Super and Global Infrastructure Partners, made its first offer in July at $8.25 per staple security. Securities in Sydney Airport on the ASX were trading higher by 5% to $8.40. Now, let's have a look at, well, a bit of the market sentiment, at least on self-wealth. And we can see right now, as I captured this a few moments ago, they're sitting at $8.38 per share. Okay, and you know what I'm going to bring up? We should have... Share price. We can see here Sydney Airport Holdings are sitting at $8.38 so right now as I'm updating this live from Google. So it's pretty flat today. The news hasn't had much of an impact on it. Uh, but you know what? I'm going to bear with me. I'll bring this one up here. Let's go back a bit further to see. There we go. We'll go back to five years so we can see. Look at that crash, everyone. Boom. Look at that crash. And we're nearly back. At its price, we'll go. Let's go to max. There you go. Look at that. I mean, are you invested in Sydney Airport, guys? Let us know. So, let's have a look. Volume twenty-eight million closed at eight bucks yesterday. So the news has had an impact, up nearly five percent, four point seven five, and it's considered five percent overvalued. So what you can see, it hasn't made a profit. Uh, its market cap is twenty-one point five. We scroll down here, earnings per share are down. Not surprising. Last dividend was in December 2019, for nearly 19.5 cents. We can see here the ownership. So everyone is selling except the people in the bottom 30%. And they're 20th by ownership. And this is this is on the self wealth platform, 20th by market cap and 37th by weight. We can see now the people are buying 63%, and this is in the last three months, say are buying because the stock is undervalued. Those that are selling are taking profits. So it looks like some people may have jumped in, may have jumped in at uh, this moment here, guys. They may have jumped in here, taken, and now they're taking some profits. So we'll have to see. I mean, if the offer, 845, if you got in, if you got in here at this level, what was this? There you go, you got in lower. Not bad. And now take over bid coming to the rescue for your investment. We can see here's the six month performance. Yep, shot up in July. And there we go. It's, it's sitting at the top of its 52-week range. And you've got different price forecasts. And come just over to the buy side with 76% bullish and 24% bearish. So there we have it, everyone. What's the, the solution or the takeaway to this one, guys? Hang on. There you go. I can't. I need my oh, cutaway now. There's a special word for that, that effect in the video production. Uh, oh, I can't remember it. Anyway, guys, there we go. Potential takeover bid for Sydney Airport. Did you get in when it was a good opportunity? You know, when everyone was fearful. Isn't that the old saying? Be greedy when everyone is fearful and be fearful when everyone is greedy. Where are we sitting here? 
Is this something you would buy now and hold or an opportunity to take a profit? Let me know your suggestions in the comments down below. Thank you all for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can support us. You can join us on YouTube or Patreon. Sign up for Self Wealth or Stake. Use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve or Aussie Broadband. Take care, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.